word. Welcome to the B Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles. I'm Devin and I'm here with Emma. Hello, hello. And I'm here with CJ. Hello, 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 oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and we are the, the three amigos. Oh. Well, the other one. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if, if we can use that if it's not under, like, you know. <laughs> we are the three-sided word. Uh, we're, we're the three sides of the same coin. <laughs> oh. So as we mentioned last week, this is the last week that's just us three, and next week we'll have our Captain Planet team back together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that what we said? Yeah. Because I then, was water. Yes. And I was heart. <laughs> CJ was. What were you? Yeah, yeah. Fart. I was. I was. I was fire. Oh, fire. fire. Sorry, fire. <laughs> Did you say I was fart? Yeah, your wind. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, what? Um. <laughs> Me too. I was like, is there, is there a fart character? <laughs> Could you imagine him just like using his powers? Fart attack. And he bends over. <laughs> <laughs> like a Pokemon. Fartamon. Like, awesome. <laughs> I want to be that guy. <laughs> Fartamon. <laughs> So, um, first article mm. for this week mm. is so cute. You guys have probably seen it, and I think Dev, you put this one in. Um, it's the Lovers of Valdaro. Have you heard oh, of them? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Have you heard of them, uh, um, CJ? So basically, no. it's it isn't new, by the way. It's old. Yeah, it's very but it's, old. It is lovely. It so, is lovely. um. In 2007, archaeologists uh, were digging up, you know, what they dig up, rock and soil and Bones, stuff. Bones, rocks. And they came across um, two skeletons of these, of a couple, they presume, mm. because, and this is in northern Italy, mm. they were found, like, gazing into each other's eyes, basically. Like, their skeletons were, like, eye to eye, and they were like whole like intertwined so like their legs were entangled in each other yeah. and their arms are like cuddling each other and that's how they died and that's how they remained for six thousand years before being discovered wow. so they died during sexy time <laughs> they actually don't know exactly why or like what happened um all they could tell there was an arrow an arrowhead found in both of them an so, arrowhead had found in both of them? Both of them. Um, so they weren't buried alive? I don't think so. Yeah. Um, it sounds like someone killed them. Yes, <laughs> but they were like, they were, they were very young. They were about 20 or early 20s. Oh. And also very short. Like the, the guy was about five foot two-ish. But hey, 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 hey. There's not big on short people, okay? Wait, how, how tall are you? Don't be a shortest, Emma. You're not short. No. Nah, Don't be your heightest. I mean, he's short like we're short. In, okay. In, yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. Us vertically challenged need some respect too. <laughs> but they've been dubbed like the Romeo and Juliet of like that time because obviously Romeo and Juliet, obviously they committed suicide, which is very sad. But they were like together and in mm. love, blah, blah, blah. And because this couple were young and that's how they were found, which is extremely rare to find a, like a... um a double burial in that particular region at that time. Mm. Like they yeah. very rarely come across it, let alone hugging each other, basically. Could it be as well that the young man saw the arrow coming and he got the young lady and tried to use her as a shield? No, because then he would, <laughs> no, because then he would have been curled up in I a ball and shooting. I was just trying to kill her romance in it. <laughs> but um, they they dug up that whole sort of site and kept yeah. them intact, and now it's in a museum that you can go and see, right. like in a shatterproof glass mu like case casing type thing. But it's intriguing. Like that's intriguing. I'm thinking like, what of the happened? question that I was in my head when I put this article in. You should have written it in the notes. I forgot. I forgot the bloody question that I was going to ask because I think that's very interesting. That um, what movie were we watching? We were watching a um a TV show when mm. this came on. Were we? Yeah, that's about how I, what? That's what I'm trying to figure out. We've been watching for life. For life, and there's another one. Timeless. Timeless. 
And what else? It was something else. Like something, one of, one of my usual watches. Yeah, no. We were watching, I was watching The Boys. I was watching The Boys. Okay. That's where we got it from. Right. And, Don't be a um, spoiler. I still haven't watched it. Oh. He okay. went on without me because yeah. he said we'll never get time to watch it together. Yeah, because it's, it's one of those things that I can't wait. I have to watch <laughs> now. So, and then it was... um Ah... Uh, are you going to spoil it if you say it? Yeah, I can't say it because CJ, I'll spoil it for CJ. So, uh, you know, Emma might want to watch it one day as well. So, it might spoil it for both of us. Yeah, but she'll forget. I know she'll forget, but you'll remember. I, yeah, CJ's got a bad memory. Not when it no, comes to movies. Like, uh, yeah, things like memory movies. For stuff I cannot remember, yeah. like girls' names. <laughs> but then there's stuff that I can remember quite a bit of detail on. Mm. It's, it's it's quite alarming, the fact that I could like you know, I'm pretty good like at that millionaire show. <laughs> if it's useless information, I can probably retain it. I'm <laughs> like that too. We should go on a game show together. Yeah, but if it's useless information, I'm pretty good at retaining it. <laughs> if it's something that's important, <laughs> forget it's gone. it. Forget it. Basically, that's what I do. I forget it. Oh, okay. So I don't know. I, I don't think remember. CJ's the ultimate trivia guy that you want on your table. Yeah, he has a lot what? of useless information in that head. He has a lot <laughs> of useless information. Like yeah. to the point where it, sometimes we, we talk about something and it frustrates me because it'd be an abstract topic, but he'd know a lot about it. And when <laughs> we get into a debate, he knows all the facts. I go and I get I get frustrated. Because I'm like, how does he know all this information? And I just start fighting out of emotion. I'm just like, nah, you're wrong. You're wrong. I don't care. I don't care what you say. You may be totally right. I don't care. You're wrong. But he will give me dates and like times. And I'm like, far out. How does he know? And then I hate losing debates to CJ. But sometimes you got to forfeit and know uh, when you're beat. Which is frustrating. Because the face that he gives you when he's right is not nice. It is not nice. <laughs> that face that goes, yep. I got you. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep. I got you. <laughs> You're wrong. You, You're you've wrong. been destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually do read a lot. And very weird topics. Yeah. On on the on toilet Weirdest doors and stuff. stuff. Yeah. I'll go my, my mind will say we'll just I'll be looking at Google and just read something weird. And yeah. then I'll go into depth about it. Then I'll start trying to read, like, read more information on the topic. You know, we could do something like that with you, Siege. What? We will talk about any topic you want that you go down a rabbit hole, but you have to write it down so you can bring it up to us. Dude, I just I don't even know I'm going down the rabbit hole. Yeah, but until I'm until I'm in the rabbit hole. Yeah, but once you're down there, <laughs> you go. What was I looking at? You write it down, and then you take us on your journey of that rabbit hole. I want to. I want to explore your mind. I think. I think <laughs> it'd be. be <laughs> I mean, I'll have to have a secret word, so that Emma can snap <laughs> us out like a safe word. It's like octopus, octopus or something. Pineapple, pineapple, <laughs> pineapple burn. Yeah, get us out, octopus, octopus. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think people would get lo- intrigued by that siege. I'm just thinking, what was the last thing I went down the rabbit hole on? And I was like, hmm, that was, the, why am I even looking this up? Just weird. <laughs> oh, CJ, you know what we should call it? CJ's hole. What? <laughs> CJ's rabbit hole. Okay, rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> CJ RH. Oh, RH. CJ RH. Oh. Oh, that, make, that, that makes more sense. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know I'm going down the rabbit hole until I'm firmly in- involved in the rabbit hole. Mm. A bit weird, right? Eh? It's, it's funny. Like, I've just learned some weird stuff. Like, I'll go into, like, Greek myth- mythology and stuff. Oh, man. Yep. We're going to like, do that. We're going to go down. Like it, We're going to explore your um hole next time. <laughs> I, I did a lot of research on Nazis. Really? Oh, yeah. I love that type of stuff. You did a lot yeah. of research on Nazis? Like, a like um, what they had, what they went through, what were they thinking at the time? 
Oh, CJ, we should really, really talk about what, this. What possessed them and what led them to that stage of thinking? Because I know, I, I know a lot of it was a poli, po, political party, and like I know that no, he it was. was, a, it was a, they, they lost the First World War. Yeah, and they had basically gone into a poverty. We're not okay. talking about it now. We're not talking about it now. But I'm really interested. I'm really interested. We're going to set it up for you to talk about it. You and Emma, because Emma's into the the history and stuff as well. Yeah, it just depends on what, what I'm thinking at the time, of where, I, where my mind takes me. Really? I didn't know you were like that. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a bit weird, man. <laughs> That's not weird. That's not weird. That's not weird. That's yeah, but curiosity's I, I, um, I, curiosity's cool. I, I just re- I, I just realized I do read a lot more and a lot more interesting stuff than I used to. Yeah, you are wise. Hmm. I'm a wiser amongst my years. What? But okay, a lot of my reading is weird comic book stuff. Yeah. And gaming stuff. Yeah, which is fair. Yeah. Um, where did that article go? The, the Romeo and Juliet. Ah, oh, I don't know where or, it went. Or the guy using the young lady as a shield. Mm. No, definitely not. Because um, otherwise, one would have been like hunched over the other, trying to protect. But yeah. they were like face to face. No, no. Oh, that's no, where no. I he wanted. He saw the arrow to... coming, and he's grabbed her, and he's put her in front of him. Hers was in the back of the. I think hers was in her back. Uh, and his was exactly, um, exactly. He was looking into her, into her eyes, as she got shot by the arrow. As he's trying to hold her as a shield. <laughs> is it? Is there an actual story or not behind this? Do we know the actual story behind? No, it? nobody knows. Oh, okay. So my question is: Would you, would you want to be buried like that if we, if we were in some tragedy? Would you want to be buried like that? If there was like a volcano erupting and it was gonna and it was blanketing our whole thing, I don't think people are gonna recover our body. Feels um. If we were here. That's what just happened to them 6,000 years after. Well, you're you not mean? listening. What happened? Yeah, so, so make sure you wear clean underwear. What happened? I don't know if it's a volcano, but they were discovered 6,000 years uh, after the fact, after they, they died. died. Like that. Yeah, I know, but like... They... But think about Pompeii, that was in volcanic ash, and that was AD 79 and not found till 16th century. No, wait, 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 wait. But they had arrows in their heads. Yeah. And they died already, and then they got buried, right? I don't think they were. They died and then were buried because of how ha- they wouldn't they have buried the them and then in the intertwined head, then them. Died. Like, but, whoa, yeah, whoa, but whoa, they whoa, were whoa, already whoa. intertwined. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, I, I'm pretty sure an arrow to the head is fatal. Yeah, I thought the killers just kept the arrows on them and then just buried them. Why would they bury them like facing them each other and then like intertwining their legs and cuddling? They wouldn't bury people like that after just killing them. I don't think they meant to do that. I think they chucked them in there and in in a grave and they just landed like that. No, they were like cuddling. Like the way their maybe arms were was, like. Maybe one was still kind of alive. I reckon they were cuddling and they were like, this is the end. I love you so much. And the people were like, ready, aim. <laughs> And they were like, I love you so much, so, so much, so, 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 so much. Ready? Fire! <laughs> what? Are you serious? I don't know. You're really rolling the R's, aren't you? I was like trying to be French, but I don't think it sounded that way. Pause the podcast. Okay, if you are listening on your phone, pick it up right now. Go onto your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, get us at the B-Side Word. And did you know that we actually record these with video as well? You can find us on YouTube, again, at the B-Side Word. And we would love it if you subscribe. Uh, subs- uh, I can't even speak. A subscribe. Uh, yeah, there we that's go. The if remix. you want, you can leave us some comments. We love to engage. And you know what? Let me ask you this. If you do follow us on any of these already, what is it you would like to see from us? Leave us some comments. Let us know. Oh, what, he said. what he said. What he said. Subscribe. Subscribe. I can't say the word for some reason. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> and pause the podcast. You know when you go around the city and you see the living statues in the city? Mm-hmm. They're freaky, those, those people that stand still all day. Yeah, they stand still all day. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what you mean. Right, yeah. And they have the hat and they're on a... 
podium. And they paint, and they paint a gold or silver, silver or bronze or whatever, something metallic, right? Mm-hmm. CJ doesn't like them. Do you like them, Ems? No. No. I find them fascinating, though. Do are you intrigued? How can you, that- how can you not like them and find them fascinating at the same time? I think I could sit and watch them for a very long time just to see if they move. Yeah. But some of them are a bit creepy. Are you fascinated about their story behind them? No. No? Just more how they manage to stay sto- so still. Oh. Okay. Well, what do you mean by this backstory? Well, there's this there's this um, living statue in, and he's called the Bronze Cowboy. He's pretty famous. He's got a YouTube channel. And he sits on benches, park benches, or in the city benches. And he doesn't have, usually when the living statues, they have a hat or something or a bag for you to put money in. Mm-hmm. He, this bloke doesn't. Mm-hmm. He sits on the bench and waits for people to sit next to him. And then once they're about to take a picture, he scares them. But there's no money. He, he doesn't ask for money. Some people give him money when they find out he's real, but all the money that he gets is from his YouTube channel from scaring people. That's it. So right? it's a joke. Wait, is it, is it a joke? And then laugh because it, it's like funny? Or? No, so he scares them, he gets the reaction, and then he goes back into being a statue. I want to see him. So he's, he's is, intriguing, is right? Is this in Sydney? No, no, he's not in Sydney. I think he's in America. But he has a backstory that um, he waited for the love of his life for 27 years. Okay, if it's that long, it's not, she, she's not coming. <laughs> 20, no, it, like I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spoil it for you. They end up getting married. He ends up moving to Greece end up, and he ends up getting married to the love of his life. But what? he waited 27 years. Wait, which is, uh, why? Yeah, but that's tell quite, me. That's, what that's, you... that's, that's kind of romantic. Oh, it is here romantic, he is. Yeah. But why... It's it's kind of warmed the cockles of my heart. <laughs> no, you no, use that a couple I don't times. get it. Why is he waiting? Does he know so, who this person is? So he went, yeah, yeah. So he first met her on holidays and in Greece, mm-hmm. and they were they were in love with each other. Okay. And um, they like they all it was like he saw his future with this woman. Okay. But the parents didn't approve of the relationship, so mm-hmm. she chose the parents over him. He was heartbroken. Um, it was during the financial um, America that were going through this financial period of going down. So he decided was, to was it, was it the Great Depression? Or no, no, no. It was only um, the what the GFC during the GFC. Okay, so I was gonna say, how old is this bloke? No, yeah, he's not that. <laughs> uh, actually, he's old now. He's fifty something now. But during the GFC, he went through. He he, he couldn't find a job, so he decided to um, try something out of the box. And then he decided to be a living statue. <laughs> he decided to get into the box. Yes. <laughs> and uh, he decided to be a living statue. Yeah. And he's just done that for the for as long as... Uh, yeah, he's made a living out of it. Wow. But I'm, I'm looking at him. Like, um, why would he want to be with this lady if she didn't want to be with him? Because the heart... You, like the heart, you know, you follow the heart. The heart is the heart. You can't decide what the heart... Once, but w- w- what about her heart? Her heart was like, uh, I mean, it's she hard. Hasn't got, she hasn't got so. One. Why did she come back Poor to Simon? Did so? How did they keep contact that whole time? So, the YouTube channel started off small, very, very small, and all of a sudden, like over time, it started to pick up traction. Like this, I'm looking on it now, it's got 4.1 million views, right? So, the video started spreading. And she started noticing, like, started noticing this person, this bronze cowboy, and um, found out it was him, and they reconnected that way. No. Yeah, on Facebook and stuff. So did he put out that, I am waiting for you still, whatever her name is? No. So the the whole, uh, the 27 years, uh, that whole 27 year period, he never found anyone else. He only had one person that he loved. That like he he only had one person in mind that he loved, and like everyone else, he'd compare to her basically. Yeah, and so no one compared quite... to that lady, and uh, he ended up waiting and ended up being with her. She's crazy, right? 
it's so romantic. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's very romantic, but like he missed out on the life. Oh, I don't know what he did in those 27 years. I'm pretty sure he dated, but like I don't think anyone compared to the like he, he didn't marry. Like he never he could never go to that next step because he could never love as anyone as much as that that woman. She ruined him. Do you think so? Or made him Yeah. Made him strong. I think it she made him strong. Him. She Imagine he him. has to get changed every day like this. His clothes look like they're fake. How do you do that with your clothes? I don't like know. they look like it's like that rigid metal, like with like ridges oh, in it. Oh. Hmm. But he's pretty good. He is. People think he's actually a statue. A statue. They're like, oh, I'll just get a picture of this, and they just yeah. sit down. One person touched its leg to help him sit down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he moved. It's just like ah. It's quite a. It was um. That that, that, that would scare the crap out of me if he moved. <laughs> hey, he moved. He moved. <laughs> I reckon CJ would punch him. Oh, no. Out of being uh, just so I'll, scared, I'll, I'll, I'll probably just jump up and run. <laughs> that, would, that would freak you out. I don't care who you are; you'd be freaked. Like, what the hell? Yeah, I'll be. Yeah, no, but yeah, the bronze. If you get a chance, look up the bronze cowboy. The bronze cowboy. Hey, 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 hey! Is he paying us? No. For advertising? No. It's the, just, the, 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 we don't advertise nothing that's not paying for. I, I advertise. Bronze cowboy. If you want, if you want a free endorsement. There's no free endorsements here, buddy. We we take payment. <laughs> right? Oh, sorry. I just saw one where the the grandma was with children as yeah. well. And they go up on one side, and she the child goes to look in his bag, thinking it's like fake. Yeah. And then he goes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think um, modern day uh, love stories are rare, and I guess this guy's an old timer, old school. That's cute. You should bring those uh, values back. Yeah. Get rid of Tinder. Yeah. Get rid of all that kind of crap. Learn. Yeah, I, I, like with Tinder and all that, how are people learning how to communicate with each other? Like through typing. Like no Eggplant, eggplant, now. eggplant. Yeah. Like seriously. What? Eggplant? Is that, is that, the, is that the new thing? Like like your your boys are going to send girls eggplants. but it's I don't think so. One day. There will be none of that. Of course there will be some of that. Oh. What? When they grow up, it'll be a different. Gonna meet, it'll be different. They're gonna fruit. meet people. There won't be an eggplant, be like a banana. <laughs> it'll be a different vegetable. But yeah, no, it was um, I um, I don't know why it was nostalgia. I think I don't know if I ever. I don't think my love story was like that, but I'd like to think it was like that. <laughs> it's something about uh. But but everyone has a different kind of love story, mate. Yeah, you can't 100%. compare them. Nah, you can. No, you can't. What do you mean? Well, what's your love story? Well, like you met me. You met, you met me at high school. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't love at first sight, but I walked past your path. I walked past your path, and you went. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I need. <laughs> That's a bit of sexy man there. <laughs> Uh, you know when you went past all of this, this music came along, uh, started popping in my head. What a man! It's what a like- man! What a magical <laughs> man! <laughs> I was gonna say it was, it was silk. I wanna sex you. <laughs> it's pretty cool though. These how they manage to stay so still. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Poor Emma, she's trying to go back onto topic. <laughs> but you know, um, you know, to like this, this, um, the the living statues. Yeah, that's a pretty hard way to make a living. Why? Yeah. This thing still your joints and your back, and that would ache. I don't know if I could stand still for eight hours a day. No, dude, I'm sure they they move around to go get lunch and things like that. Yeah. So I'm not. Sh- I'm, I'm pretty sure he won't be standing still for eight hours a day. Oh my god! There's mm. another awesome one of him. Or this is the most incredible street artists and their performances. And there's this guy, and he looks like his the way that he's coloured. Yeah, it looks like a cartoon comic type figure. And his head. You've got to see this. Hang on. This is poor. Poor. This is a bit insane. 
Really? Mm. You, you're building it up. <sighs> so is it is it gonna let us down? <laughs> have you? What, what, who's the best street? For, uh, like, have you seen any good street performers that have made you stop siege? I've heard some people sing. Yeah. Like Mr. Camilleri, I think his name was. <laughs> Camilleri. What was his name? Our school teacher that does street performing now. Mr. Zab. Oh, Mr. Zab. That's it. Mr. Yeah. Zab. Did you? Yeah, Mr. Zab. Did you stop Mr. for Zab him? Stop me. Dude, he said hello to me. I, like, I was trying to walk away. <laughs> I was at work, and he's there singing. He looked at me, and I've looked at him like, "Oh God, he's recognised me." I gotta say hello to this bloke now. <laughs> Have you ever bumped into, besides him, any other teachers after school? I have. I, I have. Yeah. And what were they like? And what did what were they doing? I, I think they're still teachers. Uh, no, no. Um, what was that old Egyptian teacher's name? Tuma or something? Yeah, Mr. Tuma. I saw him at Gold Co- in the Gold Coast clubbing. Really? Yes. And what'd you do? I said, hey, sir, how are you, mate? He looked at me and went, oh, shit. <laughs> really? Like, he's like, look at me. He's freaked out because he couldn't believe I was in there, in the Gold Coast at all places. And, mate, you know, just kept, you know, he's like, oh, yeah, I, 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 we come here with some friends and all that. Like, oh, okay, have a good night, sir. And I just went back to my door when I was I love there. how it's still sir. Ah. Yeah, yeah it's amazing, eh? <laughs> hey, it's still sir. <laughs> On the radio, I don't but, know if you uh, heard. But the big difference was I was actually now bigger than him. Oh. I was like a lot. Yeah. I had a lot more size than he, him. Yeah. So it was quite funny. What happened on the radio? On the radio, they, it was The Edge. It was Mikey and Emma in the morning, 96.8. And um, this, this, they, this someone no, called in. No, free advertising of our people's products. <laughs> so they called in. <laughs> and um, they go, oh, we saw um, our old, this, our old um, I think it was the maybe the assistant principal or something like that. And he was going into the brothel. What? Right? And so they go, oh, hey, sir. <laughs> right? And he looked at them and he was just like, like just shock panic on his face. And then and then he was like, oh, did I ever tell you you're my favorite students? And the guy was like, no, you, you, um, what you, it's not fired me from school. What expelled. You, <laughs> no, you expelled me from school, sir. Don't you yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah. But the guy was like, oh, yeah. They what? saw him go. He was like really? shocked and so panicked, like he didn't know what to do. What was he doing that was wrong? He was walking into a brothel <laughs> and he got caught by <laughs> his former like, students. CJ, CJ, Can't, tell me what your excuse like, would be. Tell me your excuse. I'll be like, oh, shit. <laughs> I was going in there to try to save the heathens. <laughs> <laughs> ask me, ask me, ask me, ask me what I'd say. What would you excuse me? I say, oh no, this is not my house. <laughs> Actually, I think the guy tried that, to say an excuse damn, like he was. Damn this sleepwalking! <laughs> no, I think the guy was saying like, oh, I came to buy some, um, some, uh, some, uh, like cakes from such and such, and he goes, oh, the cake shop's down there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I will leave now. <laughs> Start stepping, <laughs> but not moving anywhere. <laughs> no, but the most disturbing one is one of my former music teachers at school ended up being um, found guilty of... Um, oh, yeah. Of, um, what do you call, like, sleeping with a minor. Oh, man. And he was... No, it was... Um, I think it was... Um, rape. Yeah, but I think more than one person. I'm not sure. Oh, man. Yeah, awful. Damn. After the fact, eh? Uh, you always mm. do after the fact. Yeah. Or after the, but, yeah. I was watching, um, like, uh, another documentary that I love to watch, and it was on Mars. And when I was watching it, mm. they were taught, they actually brought up this project that they did before, right? And I was blown away. It's called SETI at Home, okay? And SETI at Home. Yes. And it's part of the the SETI project that they have, um, which is uh, they're trying to find alien messages that are being broadcast, broadcast from outer space. Who put this article in? Me. Right. Okay. Listen, listen. Yeah, yeah. So 
SETI is like, so they have all these, okay. So they have all these um, antennas pointing at the sky. Yeah. And you know how we sent out a message back in like a few decades back? The car. Yeah. There was, there was all sorts of in it, right? Yeah. Um, they have been listening for other messages that have been sent to us. Okay. And it's part of the SETI pro- program project. But this isn't, that's not the interesting part. The interesting part is they launched a program called SETI at home. So, you know your um your your screensaver? Yeah. That would usually come on. Yeah. If you downloaded this program SETI at home, instead of a screensaver, you are actually listening to these broadcasts. And if it comes up with a um if it comes up with a alarm system or I'm not exactly sure exactly how it works you just found you actually discovered a message from outer space so if I'm not explaining this right basically they were trying to use the entire public to to create one massive data system as a way of analyzing the sounds from outer space Does that make sense? Yeah. No? Yeah. Okay, I'll read it how they put it. In 1995, and this program only just finished this year because I was like devastated because I would have put it on my computer, right? And they said, 1995, computer scientist David Gaudet, maybe, or Gaudet? Gaudet. Anyway, or Judgy, had an idea that he wanted to build the world's like the, he said, the world's personal computers were linked together on the internet to create a virtual supercomputer that could help with the, the SETI research extraterrestrial program. Yeah. Right. So the network would be able to sort through the massive amounts of data being collected by radio telescopes, seeking signals that might point to alien civilization around another star. So it basically ran for 20 years, 20 years. And the only reason they've been, they've, shut it down for now is so they can try and analyze all of that data because let's say you had it on your screensaver and you're out at work and you missed that like you missed it do you know what I mean 20 years worth of data Mm -hmm. that's a lot of data Mm -hmm. and it's running 24 7 Mm -hmm. so it no not 24 7 what they turn it off just in case they how if they miss something okay let me just figure that part out but 20-year experiment engaged millions, millions of people had this, millions of people from almost every country on earth. Um, and so far up to that 20-year date, they'd only been analy- to, able to analyze a small portion of all of that, of all of that data, basically. So they've just hit the pause button for now um, just to sort of analyze it and see what, what they might find. They ran out of gigabytes. But... Um, Change the hard drive. You guys are not seeming as like wowed as as I, I was. Don't no. CJ, are you wowed by this? I, I I tell me the tell me what the possibilities are. Maybe I can um be wowed by this. What do you mean? I mean, I've I've watched a lot of um um space like movies. Yeah, I've watched a lot of sci-fi so, movies. So, study at home. Could, it says could plough through radio telescope data faster than ever before. When a computer was idle, the SETI at home program launched a screensaver that showed a field of colourful spikes. So it, all, it looks pretty as well, but it basically shows you this this colourful images, blah, blah, blah. And that represented the signals collected at the Arecibo radio telescope in Puerto Rico as it scanned the cosmos. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And for anyone that who downloaded the software, it meant that if ET did call Earth, it could very well be your own computer that picked up the phone. What happens? Can we reply? No. Oh. So what happened is because they did a <laughs> they kind of did a simul not a simulation. No one's home. Go but away. They did like a dr- dramatized version of um of someone picking up the signal. Yeah. And the thing is it went wrong because they picked up the signal and immediately hit the internet going, wow, I think I just picked up the first, I think I just picked up an alien signal. And then like everyone was like, oh my God. So it got out of hand before they could analyze it type of thing. And what was it? It was aliens. Oh. Yeah. But. It was, it was me farting. This isn't real. That was just a dramatized thing. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Like what could happen? Like, right. but. Um, so what happens if, I think if you find it, you let them know and they have to analyze it first. 
Yeah, I'm not sure about this. There's a lot of people in the world. I do not want them to be the first contact <laughs> or the first representative of the human race with the aliens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like Donald Trump. Yeah, but that's the worst case th- scenario, Siege. I don't like that. I don't want him to, I, I don't want him to be the first alien human contact. How about Scott Morrison? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your representative more than I'm sending in the rock. Yeah. Oh yeah. A now, big guy. Yeah. Intimidating. Yeah. Quite polite. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Vaporized. Bang. So, so they know not the fuck of us. Send this big, huge human being. Yeah. And then and and they know. Yeah, but imagine like life life forms, and they quickly download the history of uh, the <laughs> the universe, uh, like quickly of then. Earth, and they see this bloke that we're sending in going. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs> They're like, they might think he's a chef. <laughs> <laughs> See this program, right? Oh, so okay. And the reason they also did this because look at this, right? This yeah. is so fascinating. <laughs> so more than two point six million people in two hundred twenty six countries were volunteering their spare processing power yeah. to um to to get through these amounts of data generated by the alien hunting radio telescopes. So together they ran about twenty five trillion calculations per second. Right. right. So they created a supercomputer yes, computer which community. Made, yes, which made SETI at home more than twice as powerful as the best super. Super what does SETI in the world? Sta- stand for? Don't know. Systems, enormous, transform, together, you are. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. They didn't realize how big it would grow, and I think that's why they've got all this data that they haven't... That's what she said. That, yeah. Like, they have not been able to, <laughs> do you know what I mean, process. Um, but, like, oh, she goes... Uh, in the early days of the program, the internet connection wasn't fast enough to push out data onto the internet directly. So the SETI at home team had to record the data on 35 gigabyte tapes <laughs> that were mailed to Berkeley and then uploaded to the Hold internet. On. Wow, that's intriguing. <laughs> I'm still not that intrigued. Uh, yeah. Okay. Like, well, like the, 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 Johnny, the Johnny Depp movie. He downloads himself into the computer. <laughs> that's cool. What's the, what movie is that? I think it's Inception. No, but no, I that's just not love Inception. like. I'll look it up. I just love the fact that we, as the people, yeah. can also be a part of it. We the people. Like it's like your screensaver <laughs> isn't just a blank whatever. Like yeah. you're analyzing the cosmos for alien signal. Well, you're, but you're you're letting someone they, they, use they, your computer. Computer, yeah. Yeah, but your it's your computer that will pick it up. Yeah, but you're not there twenty four seven just looking at yeah. the screen. But it's only when it's idle, right? So, like, let's say you could you could put that on your you could How attach often your. How do you st- um do you stare at your screensaver? With a cup of tea in the afternoon, and that- <laughs> I would attach my laptop to the big screen and just sit there and watch and go, "Ooh, any signal yet?" <laughs> but get this, <laughs> this will blow your mind. All right, that- so far nothing's no, no, blown no. our mind. So. <laughs> that- my, 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 out of everything that we've heard, you watching your screensaver <laughs> has blown my mind. <laughs> and get the movie's this. called Transcendence. Get this. Yeah, it's Transcendence. The, 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 the stuff that we sent that represents Earth. Yeah. Out into the cosmos. Which was? They had um, saying greet, hello greetings in like uh, 55 different languages. They had songs, um, like classical music and all this. And what was interesting is they said, we sent out what we aspire to be. We didn't send out pictures of war, of um, famine, blah, blah, blah. So if we do receive a signal, are they sending us from another world? Are they sending us what they aspire to right, be and not intriguing. what they actually are? That is intriguing. So like the so information that we, the, the information we sent out isn't accurate. Is like not it's, accurate. It's, it's, it's partially accurate, yeah. but it's not the full picture. It, right. They come down here thinking we were pleasant and we're lovely. And then they find out we're, war, we're warmongers. Yeah. <laughs> we start decapitating them. Led by the rock. <laughs> yelling out do you smell what the rock is cooking, cooking. alien heads <laughs> but yeah it's good for the protein yeah, that's interesting mm-hmm. I guess the response is interesting you should have led with that what the response would be is bec- like 
what the response of the aliens could be, mm-hmm. especially what we've sent out into the universe, is interesting. I, I think the, the program's interesting. Hmm. You guys are just not into space. I mean, when we break it down, all we're doing is lending our computer. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not going to like, pay the power bill for them to look for aliens. Yeah, okay. but don't you want to like... Yeah, but it's... Uh, I, I was like... <laughs> I like sat forward Bloody, in my chair. They're not paying my like, electricity bill. Don't use my shit. <laughs> if you want to use my shit, pay portion of my electricity bill. CJ is all about fairness. To be fair, okay. Before we leave, oh before we goodness. leave, I want you to listen to this. I'm gonna remove that. I don't even know how, but yeah. Hi, babe. I'm home. So, me and Emma, we've had uh, difficulties lately, and um, every time I come home. I get the cold shoulder siege. And yeah. uh, I want you to... This guy seemed to have the same problem as I did, right? So I want you to listen to this. Okay, and he's lying. But, we but, had no difficulties. But there has, there has to be an underlying issue for that to occur. Yeah, no, I was probably... Uh, exaggerating yeah. for the purpose of this article. Yeah, it's a story I've made up. Oh, <laughs> I, I thought we are doing some couples counselling no. here right now. Listen to this. And I was going, and I was going to recommend... Find out what the underlying issue is with Emma at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And the reason why she's so upset. Yeah. Uh, it's most likely something simple that you have done. Yeah. Oh, I've done. Is, You're not yeah. a very good psychologist. You're already aiming <laughs> the blame on me. No, but <laughs> she must be feeling mistreated to give you this cold shoulder. I yeah. don't. I want a refund. If I'm paying you, I want a refund. <laughs> why? You want a refund? You know you did it. Listen. Listen to this. Emma. Hi, he did it. Home. He did it, didn't he? Yes, eh? Hey, Google. I'm home. Hi, welcome home. Ah, yes, the man, the myth, the legend. He is the handsome Canadian ice dancer. (laughs) This here is a remarkable, so so bad remix. Shady, y'all. Run DMC. You have to explain it. So he comes home and then he says, hey, babe, I'm home. And she's not, she barely looks up. She's like, oh, hi, yeah, yeah. And she goes back to what whatever she's doing. And yeah. it was he didn't quite like that entrance to his home. So he says, hey, Google, I'm home. And then it like, it's like, so he, he pre, pre-programmed yeah. Google to reply. Legend. <laughs> Do you want to hear it again? No, man. I'll let you hear it again. So this guy comes but, in. Uh, okay, okay, hey. When you ask, <laughs> do you want to I hear it again? Li- that li- was a redundant question because li- you wanted to play it again. Yeah, listen. Hey, Google. <laughs> I'm home. Hi, welcome home. Ah, oh, yes, the man, the myth, the legend. He is the handsome Canadian. <laughs> Would you like that to come home? You? Like, if you, if you're, uh, if you had a wife, would you like that when you came home? You go, hey, babe, I'm home. And you go. <laughs> He's home. The man, the myth, the legend, <laughs> the Australian no. god. <laughs> that's a lot to live up to. <laughs> you don't like living a bit of up. Pressure. <laughs> oh my god! So if you go to text to speech panel, yeah, make sure there's a voice for Siri, and then you go to applications, utilities, terminal. When terminals open, you can make Siri say anything by typing a word, by typing after the word "say." Really? Yeah. I'm gonna try it. All right. Anyway, just to complete this. Mm-hmm. Nice dancer. <laughs> this here is a remarkable, so so bad remix. Shady, y'all. This, just a side note, this used to be uh, CJ's uh, go to song in the club. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. He knows, he wants to dance, but he's he's holding back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not- my, 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 when this ends, I'm going to put it on, man, I have a little dance in my room. <laughs> by myself, you know? Dancing to myself, you know? Is that it, Ems? Uh, that's all we got for this week. Thank you very much for being good hosts along with... Thank you, Dr. Emma. Myself. Thank you, Dr. Sage. Why are we doctors? Because we're scientists. Oh. We're very scientific today. We actually are. But we don't know anything about science. We're just very curious about science. We're fascinated scientists. Yeah. Curious scientists. But isn't isn't that part of science, being fascinated by something? Yeah. We're so fascinated. Next week, I think we might have a segment called CJ's Hole. So, (laughs) And that's where we discover when CJ 
like looks up a topic okay, okay, and okay, goes okay. down a rabbit hole. Goes down. We're gonna have hole. to find a new name for it. <laughs> 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 because I'm not gonna lie, CJ Soul sounds like where the guy put the gold. <laughs> <laughs> CJ, if you find the black hole in the sky, what are you gonna call it? CJ's hole. No, I want to call it the black hole. Found <laughs> by CJ. <laughs> the black hole. <laughs> I like it. I like mm-hmm. it. All right. Well, I'm Thank put you it very hole. much. Bye from Friedrich, Dr. Emma. Friedrich. <laughs> Bye from Dr. Devon. Not the best you See had. you from Zeus, Dr. CJ. <laughs> <laughs> Zeus, Dr. CJ. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, All right. I've got a thunderous personality. (laughs) And a big hole. Bye. Ciao, ciao. (laughs) Bye.